welcome to CSS Hacks video series. So basically, this video is part of series Modern Frontend Web Development with React at Udemy. So this is just a video from a section called CSS Hacks. And in this video, we are creating a model which stays on top, mainly uh, to learn CSS position property. Make sure to watch my sticky header video and to learn more, just uh, visit the link in the description below. So let's just get started. Uh, ignore this, all this React components. Uh, of course, we are going to learn about them. That's what the series is about for. But uh, this is just a middle video where uh, we are going to add the styling. And uh, what this component does is, uh, let's say if user has filled the form and if it tries to navigate to a different route without submitting the form, we have to show him a model like this. So, but it doesn't look good. Like it, it, it doesn't have the feel of a model. So let's just add a styling. So basically I want this model to stay on top of everything. All right. So let's do that. I'm in this style, basically model.css. I have already given overlay width and height just to show you the leave confirmation model. It looks like this. It's an ID. It has an ID of overlay and rest of the stuff you can pause the video and read more about it i'll share you this link as well in the description so don't worry and let's get started with styling of course we want this to be on top of everything so let's add a position i'm going to use absolute for now and also uh, since i want this to be top of everything i'm going to add a z index of 99 and let's see if it works and I'm just going to reload my source code, add something and try to navigate to a different route. All right, it does work. Okay, so it's kind of going above everything. Let's give it a background color so that uh, we'll be able to see uh, the difference. I'm going to use RGBA and just going to use 255, 255 and this is going to be a kind of a yellow color and I'm going to give it an opacity of 0.5. All right, let's view this again. Type something in the form and try to navigate to a different route. All right, we get to see that. Definitely we have given width of 100%, it's working, but the height is not working. The reason behind that is position absolute, it's trying to be relative to its parent. So definitely let's try to check what's happening over here. So this overlay is relative to this div specifically over here. So it's counting it's with 100% height under 100% relative to the to this div over here. But I don't want it to be relative to anything. So to fix that, all I have to do is I have to set the position to fixed. And let's just save this and reload the page. And let's just try to view it again. All right, it works, but the <laughs> from the top, it doesn't look good. The reason behind that is it's right now currently taking the position, the position, I mean the location on the document by default. I want the location to be starting from the top zero. And that's when you use top, left, right, and bottom properties. In our case, we just need top zero and it will work fine. All right, let's save and reload now. All right, it works fine. And that's it from this video. If you would like to know more about this series, head over to link in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching.